Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be discussing uh, Windows customization. A lot of people asked me about this and um, what they asked about was the top right corner of my screen, uh, how I got the date to appear here and the time and the temperature. And this is not a Windows 10 feature. Um, granted, with Windows 10, you could do a lot of things. By the way, this works on all versions of Windows. I'm going to get to that in a second. But if we go into uh, the settings of Windows 10 and we go to personalization, um, you'll see you're able to select things such as your uh, desktop wallpaper and, of course, with the brand new update, which I covered in the last video, you can select to have... Um, automatic colors for your windows based on um, the color of your desktop and things of that nature. So you can do a lot of customization with Windows 10, but to add a spiffy thing to it, I decided to use Rain Meter. Um, quite some time ago, I actually used a different product uh, called Windows Blinds by Stardoc and Stardoc.com. And Windows Blinds was actually amazing uh, for what it was for the Windows XP days. Uh, to skin windows and make it look like something totally different. Um, but, you know, when Windows 10 came out, I really didn't want any resource hogging uh, customization programs. What I mean by that, I mean when a program is running that takes over your screen and adds all these graphical features, it tends to slow down your computer or cause delay or lag. Um, but not with RainMeter. Um, RainMeter you can get by going to RainMeter.net, uh, RainMeter.net, or just Google RainMeter. And RainMeter.net is the very first link. And you can click on the download 3.3 beta release. That's what I'm using. It's actually pretty good. Uh, or the 321 st uh, final release, which is uh, a stable release in the event that you're getting some kind of difficulties with 3.3. But once you install it, it uses the NoSoft installer, the same installer Winamp used to use back in the day. Um, and once you install it, it's going to give you um, RainMeter. And next thing you'll want to do is you'll want to go to the Discover. And RainMeter is actually powered by a community, meaning people like me, like you, um, who create really awesome themes and things like that. So once you install RainMeter on your uh, system tray, you'll see a little tiny raindrop, and that's RainMeter. And if I right-click it and I go to Manage, it's going to show me all the skins that I currently have installed. To install a skin is very easy. You actually just extract it to the RainMeter folder. But you see here, simple media, right? Date and time. And I can click on load this uh, theme, this customization, and you'll see what it does. It loads a uh, transparent skin with a date and time that I could just kind of attach um, to my to my computer. I can move it around. I can click it, drag it, drop it. Let me unload this one. Let me see what else do we have here. Okay, with our one of the really big letters, uh, I could do that as well. Um, here, let me scooch this over to the side and unload this skin. So different skins come with different features, right? So I'm looking at Simple Media right now. It's just a theme that I just recently got. But um, here, let me go over to Razer. And let's see. Let's load this INI file. And you'll see that it, it gives you a different kind of look, you know. It gives you a different type of uh, graphical UI um, that you may be comfortable with. Of course, you can always right-click an item and unload it. I just do it directly from the Manage Rain Meter um, uh, window. And uh, settings, you see here that the editor is Notepad. Now, why do you have an editor? Because sometimes uh, something is localized, like date and time may be localized to the person who created it. So you can actually, and you can see who the author is here. It's littlesheezy at gmail.com. You can actually edit this INI file in Notepad, and you could discover, uh, you could find out um, you know, what localization this person was using. You might want to um, change, let's say, um, Texas to New York or something like that. It's all done in code and it's all done right here in the um, in the uh, INI file. INI file is just an initiation file, an init file, a config file that tells this skin what to do. Now, I have a bunch of skins and I didn't actually go crazy installing so many. Um, see, for example, look at this clock right here on the top right corner. Or, uh, so you can even add Google search to, to your desktop, make it permanent, load, and I believe it is, there we go, it's right here. And I could keep it here on the bottom right corner and just search for something. But I'm not uh, uh, using these kind of things. Normally I like very simple. Uh, I like uh, having the weather, the time, you know, if I want to put in uh, disk space, 
you can see here my uh, C drive, 1.7 terabytes used out of 1.8. So you can include hundreds of statistics. I mean, it's really cool how far users have taken um, this this whole customization. I mean, it's really, really nice. Uh, looks like this is the one I'm using right now. I'm using the... Uh, let me load Fahrenheit instead of uh, Celsius. Yep. So I'm using the elementary theme. Um, and you can see here, for example, in system, I can drag this over here and put it on the bottom. I'm currently utilizing 10% of my CPU, now 9, 5%, 26% of my total memory. Uh, my hard disk uh, C drive is at 95% capacity. And you can also see my Ethernet adapter is currently not. Oh, there you go. It's pushing some data in and out. Um, cool stuff, right? Um, I think it's it's really nice that uh, they've added these things. There's an analog clock. There's hundreds of things. And you might ask yourself, all right, so when do, where do I find these skins? You know, where do I go to get them? So on brainmeter.net, um, the Discover tab, there's links to these other places, such as DeviantArt. And let me just open this guy on a new tab. And DeviantArt is a great website. Forget about it. Not just for skins, but just in general. What artists do is incredible. Um, unhidden talent, you know. And what I would do is on the very top, just type in Rain Meter, oh, even though I'm there already. But look at all these themes. Oh, I'll click here to continue. Look at all these themes. For example, uh, look at this theme. This is how they designed this one. This one happens to be, um, what's the name of this theme? Oh, it doesn't say the name of it. Rain Meter by Entrobius. I guess he just called it a rain meter. Very cool. You could have this whole wheel like just chilling on your desktop and whatever you click on opens up. I mean, the customizations are really endless once you see what people have done here. Um, you know, obviously you could change the wallpaper to anything you want. It integrates with programs such as Chrome, Skype, iTunes, um, and even more. And you can even write your own once you get into it. I personally don't write any of them because I just kind of... Uh, took some that other people had created. Look at this one. Very, very sophisticated. Um, this one opens up. What is it? Firefox, Internet Explorer, um, uh, Document Writer, Text Editor, uh, PS3D Vid, all his videos apparently created buttons for them. Very nice. People have already taken it to the next level of customization where they create very, a lot of cool things. Very, very intricate and detailed themes for Rainmeter. Take a look at this one. How cool is that? RAM, CPU, power. And all you have to do is actually just download this, and it's completely free. Um, once you download it, and I believe the download button should be over here. Where is it on DeviantArt? It should be right over here under Details. Details, Stats. Where is the download button for this? Am I crazy? Is there no download button? No, there has to be a download button. Where did he put it? Or they changed their website. Ah, I guess you could. I see the watch button. Hey, where is the download button? Am I crazy? Uh, okay, okay, hold on. Maybe I do want to download this one. So why am I going crazy looking for where to download it? I know I could watch it. Okay, I know I'm not losing my mind, and I know I'm, I should be able to just click and download it. Uh, da, 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 one second. It's right in front of my face, I bet. Why do I have this watch button? I don't want to watch it. I want to download it. Do I have to be logged in to download? Is that what they want me to do? It's a possibility. All the comments are on the bottom. I see that. What I don't see is the freaking download button. Why would it make it difficult to download this thing? It shouldn't be difficult to download it. Usually it used to be right here on the very top. Yeah, I think I have to, to log in in order to get it. But it used to be right here, the download button. And then there's more from this particular person who created more themes. Um, but I should just have a regular download button. Let me go back. Uh, let me go back to the event. I actually want to install a theme now that I'm making this video. So let me make a new tab real quick. Again, and let's do this one more time. And I want to find that theme again that I wasn't able to download. Let me scroll down and find it. I think I have to log in to do it, guys, so I'm sorry if it's not going to uh, to let me. Where is it? Where is that theme? Where is that theme? There we go. It was this one right here. Yeah, so it should 
it should just give me the option to download it. I don't have my account on hand, so I can't log into this. But I think I have to actually log in to download this thing, guys. Um, but you know what? Customize.org, you don't have to go in to download it. So you make an account here, and then you should have a download button on the top right corner, if I remember correctly. And this is where you can download this theme. And I, I want to actually install one to show you how it works. So let's go to Customize.org real quick. Uh, I know over there they have tons of skins too. Customize.org provides skins for everything. Um, VLC player, Winamp, um, just general Windows themes. It's a really good website. And uh, while it's loading, oh, it's offline. Go figure. It's not my luck today. Um, let me pick a different theme here. I just want to find a, you know what? Let's just go to Google. Let's just go to Google and type in Rain Meter Skins. There we go. Of course, it takes you to uh, to all the sites we've been to already. <laughs> hey, look. PC World has the top ten. All right. Um, yeah, they also make it very difficult to find what the heck do we want, right? Tells us to head over to the Rain Meter website and then obviously to download some skins. But where are all the skin links? What do people do with them? You know, clearly, I think I'm going crazy that I'm unable to see because it says top 10 skins, but it's not giving it to you. Let's see, let's see. Rainmeterskins.org. Let's see what we got here. Okay, let's just pick any random one. There we go. Downloads is over here. Okay. All right. The Rain Meter skin comes at a, as an RM skin file. I'm just going to click on that. And I'm going to click on install. And it will automatically apply the layout. Take a look what it had done. It unloaded my previous skin and then it loaded this skin. So there you go. It gives me information. It says Windows 8.1, but it's really Windows 10 Pro. I don't know why it does that. But you can see all the widgets that actually came with this. Yep, the browser opens up my default browser edge. Um, I'm not going to do the music. But all right, let's pick an even cooler theme while we're here. Hmm, Robocop theme? No, I don't know. I like simple. I don't like crazy. All right, let's look at Blooming. Download Blooming. Okay, let's see. Install and add it. Whoa. Okay, Blooming looks crazy. All right. Doesn't look like it's in all languages. This person is a gamer. I see they're a gamer because they have all their game stuff. Let's test their Google Chrome button. It is working. So if I wanted to customize this, I would just simply open up RainMeter and edit the config file for these files. Um, let's go back to manage. And arc all these things are open. I'm going to end up... Um, unloading this at the end and just kind of recustomizing my debt my window right now everything looks crazy you might experience that but don't feel bad this is all part of learning you just right click and unload all the skins you don't want and then apply back the ones that you do want um, so here I'll say unload the skin this was also made for a laptop I see because there is a power control let me see I clear that out well, all right. I'm not going to drive you, cry, you guys crazy with this video right now. Um, I believe I already have. <laughs> but um, I hope you learned something new, something cool. Um, again, not productive like my other videos, teaching you how to do things, uh, like with Excel and understanding Windows better. But this is more of a fun thing um, of learning how to uh, use things like a uh, rain meter. Here, there we go. Let's load my weather widget back. Um, so yeah, like I said, if you play with this, you can really make your computer look very, 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 very awesome. Uh, very awesome. And uh, that's it. So I hope anyone who asked me about uh, how I was able to customize my computer so much and my other videos who sees this uh, now understands how to do it and can do it on their own. This works on Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows 7. Would even work on XP, I believe. Um, I don't think there's any limitation on what version of Windows this will work on. It's a very lightweight customization. And when I mean lightweight, I mean lightweight. It takes almost absolutely no resources on your machine. Um, 
you can see by my uh, my performance right now is actually pretty good and if you look at processes and you go down to rain meter there it is it takes almost nothing almost nothing 0.2 percent of my cpu 0.1 it's never used that's why but it's quick shortcuts from your desktop and you can create your own icons and move forward with it so if you have any questions uh, feel free to ask them in the comment section below um, and I appreciate you guys watching my videos uh, please subscribe if you've a returning visitor and you watch my channel often please subscribe to it I appreciate it um, I upload more great content for you guys and hope you guys stick around uh, to watch some more of my content and thank you so I hope you guys have a good week I know it's uh, Sunday night it's the end of uh, the weekend have a great week and we'll see you next time bye